slay them. Hi guys, Pure Noob here. This league is a Pokemon league for me since there are so many special corps to summon as specters. I tried Hydra and it felt really good, and I was so satisfied until I tried the Spirit of the Fortune. I know everyone is talking about it for its buff, however, they can actually be an insane carry rather than just an aura buff. Why is it so good? First of all is its buffs which can also buff themselves. The Wrath Aura? Though in PoE DB it said it only buff attacks, but as I tested, it also grants more lightning damage to spells now. Also it grants lightning damage rocket hit, which is roughly 30% more damage. Secondly, look at how tanky this guy is. At level 81, which is level 30 Raid Spectre gem, it has 108k life and 40k armor. By comparison, look at the Hydra, 20k life and 17k armor. I did some uber bossing and Spirit of Fortune never died even once. Then look at its skills. First, Shock Nova, with an insane 4k to 12k damage, though with a cooldown. But we can use Spell Echo to let it cast twice. What's even more busted is its AoE. It's literally screen wide, which makes the mapping really zoomy. Second skill spark, no cooldown, decent damage with high base duration, and free proc speed. All in all, this Spectre is cheap, tanky, great DPS and great coverage, making it a perfect carry Spectre. You can build around it in your preferred ways. For me, I always prefer high DPS and zooming style since we're playing softcore. So in my setup, I don't have high defense layer, but really high DPS. Most gears are pretty standard Spectre build rare items. except my belt, which said flasks do not apply to you but apply to specters and zombies instead. The trick here is, you can enchant the flask with increased effect, while you can still gain flask charges while flask is in effect. So I have all damage flasks with increased effect, which is like every minion has a mage blood, which is crazy. The flasks have very high uptime during mapping, sanctum, invitations, and some bossing. However, without flasks applied on me, I'm not that tanky. For my defense, I have 4k life, 6k armor, capped auras, capped block chance, 700 life region, and bone armor from ascendancy. You can build really tanky if you are willing to sacrifice a little bit of offense. For example, you can use the triple offering belt, which is pretty defensive and offensive as well. I'm not going into details about the build, but feel free to check my POB in the description for some reference. My setup works for most specters I believe. For attack based specters, I only need to use this weapon instead, which gives plus 2 to all minion gems and minions base attack crit chance becomes 9.3% and then respect part of the skill tree to get some minion accuracy. As you can see my IGN Pokemon Let's Go, so this league I'm gonna try out different specters and I'm sure there will be a lot of fun. Hopefully I can find some interesting specters and we'll let you know. Until then, 